David. Hello. Uh, you know what she was saying? About me being tough and that? Yeah. Well, I've been thinking. And you've got a point, but it ain't been easy. Mum, we've been through all this. Yes, oh, I know that, I know. It's just that... <sighs> I am hard. I've had to be. I, I don't find it easy trusting people. No, after all the times you've been ripped off, I know. <sighs> but I wasn't always like that. I started off as wide-eyed as anybody else. Until I had it knocked out of me. Mum, look, I'm not blaming you. You've been through a lot, I know that. It's just that... Well, this business with Roy and the car... I don't like blokes that try and buy their way into people's Mom, lives. Mum, Roy did me the favour. Me, not you. Because that's the kind of bloke he is. Oh, well. It's your loss. What's going on? Right, all set. OK, now, don't be nervous. There's absolutely nothing to be nervous about, right? OK, first things first, check your handbrake. That's it. And make sure you're in neutral. What? That's neutral. OK. Righty-ho. Now, switch on. She ain't got a clue, has she? <laughs> I bet she she's still... I bet she crashes. <laughs> Go, B, get your head together! Start again. Neutral, handbrake. Come on, concentrate. Right. Just gently, handbrake. Bianca! What's the matter? You're not nervous, are you? Look, I know you're getting the hang of things, love, but don't start acting like Nigel Mansell. Slow down! Break! What? Break! For God's sake, break! <laughs> it's all right. It's all right. It's all right. OK. Yeah, I'm all right. I said I'm all right. You're right now? Yeah, I'm all right. Come on, then. Listen, I think you better drive back. Well, I don't see why Robbie can't take the shop down. He ain't got nothing better to do. And you have. Your grand's cooking your favourite tonight. Shit was quiet. I'm going out. I don't want no dinner. So, as you're driving this, I'm going, if you jump out the car and do a runner after five minutes, of course not. You wouldn't do that to me, would I? I'm a natural. David says I passed me test in no time. And he should know he's a brilliant driver. Yeah, I bet that's not all he's good at either. He could hurt, will ya? <laughs> Listen, like I said, I uh, said I should get a much better job when I can drive. I can go anywhere I want, can't I? Yeah. Can't wait to get out of this dead end, dog. Yeah, I know. It's full of losers around here, isn't it? Come on. He's so proud of that car. Yeah, we'll know Bianca, because she'll wreck it in a couple of days, and that will be the end of it. And she'll just snap her fingers and expect David to buy her another one. He'll give her whatever she wants. Bianca knows that. Bianca, Bianca, I'm sick of hearing her name. Alan, just the man. Uh, couldn't do us a favor and take my bunting down for us, could you? Uh, there's a bit of pocket money for you, like. <laughs> <laughs> Suit yourself. I mean, let's face it, I'm never going to have a decent job. Not the sort that can buy cars from your daughter. I mean, you should have seen the way that she looked at me, as if I was nothing. I'm losing her, Graham. And to what? A smooth-talking slime bag like him? Don't be silly. Of course not. Do you want to talk about it? No. Why don't you come downstairs and make a cup of tea? <laughs> That's always the answer to everything, ain't it? A nice cup of tea. Well, I'm sorry, love, not this time. Just had a bit of bad luck, that's all. Yeah, bad luck's my middle name, innit? 
Well, now you're being stupid. Why'd you stay at me, eh? I mean, what good am I to you? You'd be better off without me. You just stop it, Alan. No, I mean it. I mean, I can't even provide for myself, let alone you and the kids. Well, go on, why don't you get doled up and go out there and find yourself a new bloke? I mean, you're still young, you're attractive. What are you, talking you know, you can about? get someone who's got something, someone that's worth something, someone that's not a failure like me. Now, you listen to me, Alan. You're not a failure. I mean, you can't measure how much someone's worth just by the amount of money they've got in their wallet. I mean, it just doesn't work like that. No. I don't think David would agree with you. David? He's nothing. Alan, you could never be a failure in whatever you do. Not to me, not to any of us. Your kids just think that. Yeah, you? you're their dad and they love you. And there's no question about that. And that goes for me too. But I don't want anybody else. I love you for who you are, Alan, not for what you bring into this house. Yeah, but I want to buy you things. I've though. said you're all that I want. Now you were listening to me, weren't you? Hi. No, 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 just got here. There you go. Uh. Well, come on, then. Look, it can't possibly be as bad as last time, right? I suppose not. Right. Well, come on, then. Do anything wrong. Come here, let me do it. Okie doke, uh, clutch in, check it's in neutral. That's it. Right, start her up. about time you tried reversing around a corner. I can't do that yet. I've just got the hang of using the gears. Oh, don't make me go backwards. Please, David, I can't do it. Have you finished? Look, it's not difficult. You've got to learn sometime. Right. I want you to look at the corner and see how it bends. Look at the corner and see how it bends. Now put the car into reverse. Put the car into reverse. Look over your shoulder. No, not that one, the other one. That's it. Right. Put your foot on the accelerator and ease off the clutch gently. Oh, uh, I could have smashed that car in front. Why well, someone would have walked out? It and happens to motor. everybody. I can't. I'm never going to be able to drive. Oh, stop. Keep making such a fuss, for God's sake. I can't do it. Right, that's it. I've had enough. I'm never going to be able to do this. You, I'm laughing at you. Why? Well, the way you showed off back there. I could have killed someone. Yeah, well, at least you kept your cool, darling. It's important for a driver to be in control. It's a pretty stupid mistake, wasn't it? Oh, you'll get the hang of it once you get your confidence back. I'll tell you what, when you do get the hang of it, I'll get you a little present. Yeah? Yeah, you know, make you drive a bit harder. I suppose you'd be glad to have the place to yourself. What do you mean? Well, well, pass away. Bring a few girls back. A few romantic dinners without your <laughs> name playing Gooseberry. Yeah, that'll make a nice change. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it as it goes. I think I'll make a few changes down the lot and all. I've got loads of ideas. See, that's the difference between me and the other blokes around here. What? Well, I mean, look at Alan, for example. I mean, he may be, you know, a nice sort of bloke, but... He's not exactly a successful businessman, is he? I mean, he's not got a lot going for him. Well, that just shows how much you know. Why? What do you mean? He's got a new job, actually. Is he? What's he doing? In a hotel. <laughs> what, is it a chambermaid? No, a porter. Oh, a porter. Right. 
Does he have to wear a uniform? Yes. Or with a cap? Yes. I suppose it's a very hard work, right? Like, you know. Yeah, well, Mum don't want him working nights, but it's better than nothing, isn't it? Yeah, of course. You said the people are all right as well. Mm. He's got some other bloke teaching him. Oh, you mean the, the, the head porter? And what's the matter with that? Well, apart from working unsociable hours, having to wear a stupid uniform and not being your own boss sounds like a great job. Just tell me something. Does the cap suit him? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so I said to him, you better do better than that, mate, because I've already seen what you've got in there. He's uh -oh. enough, it guys. Yeah, all right. I will have another go next week, yeah, right? I'll give you a ring. See okay? Yeah, ta-da. See ya. Well done, by the way. Just giving her another driving lesson. Gosh, you know, I'm a quick learner. Oh, yeah, I bet she is. <laughs> Hiya. Hello. All right, are you all set? Yes. Uh, got your money, tickets, passport? Yeah. Lovely. Yeah. I wondered if you were going to show up. Well, I wasn't going to miss all the emotional farewells, was I? Right, then. I'll take this one. You take... I'll take that one. No, you take that one. Why don't you oh, take that one? Oh, crying out loud, I'll take it. Thanks, Dad. Now, listen, I want you to do something for me. Will you please try and get on with each other while I'm away? I don't want me holiday brewing worrying about the pair of yous. Anything you say, Mum? Me and Ricky will get on just fine. Don't you worry. David, I'm serious. This is important to me. All right, Mum. Look, we've had our differences, but I think we're adult enough to put things in the past now. Eh? You know how important this family is to me. I promise you, Mum. I want to make things work just as much as you do. Ricky. No, don't worry, Pat. Like you said, everything will be fine. Right. Right, is that it? I miss you. No, you won't. You'll be too busy enjoying yourself. David. Thanks. Be good. If I can't be good? <laughs> just be good, please. <laughs> All right. Yeah. There you go, Roy. Right. You look after her now, yeah? Oh, don't you worry about that. I won't put that in there for me. So, let me out. Be careful. OK. Ricky, darling, I just want you to know things would have been so different if your father had stayed with me. You know how much I loved him. Come on, Pat, now. We're going to miss the boat. Right, then. Oh, thanks, son. Bye. Hello, Martin. Right? Yes. Yeah. Come on, fellas. See ya. See ya. See ya. Have a nice time. Bye, Roy. See ya, Mum. Ta da! I'll see ya. I don't count on it. Hello. Hello, love. Walks up this afternoon, then? Yep, I'm gonna reverse round the corner if it kills me. <laughs> well, we could have spoken where you drive. Oh, don't be horrible. I'm doing all right, aren't I? Oh, you're doing great. I've got an incentive now, anyway. What's that? Well, the present. You said you'd get me if I'd done it. Oh, yeah, yeah. You weren't lying, was you? No, 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 I wasn't lying. What is it, then? Well, you'll find that out when you do it right, won't you? Oh, all right, right, there he is. Bang on time. And what's that supposed to mean? I could set my watch by you, Ricky. 11 o'clock sharp, Phil's gopher comes into the calf. I need gopher. Now, yeah, gopher, tea boy, what's the difference? Right, I'll see you at 2.30 then. Oi! Look, I like nobody's tea boy, all right? Hey, 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 up, mate, lighten up. You know what they say? If it's not true, can't get you, can it? Hello. OK, get your position right. No, look, you're twisting your neck too much. Shift your body over. Oh, come on, get your... Your, your bum over? Yeah. Right, now keep... Look, look at the back window. Keep that mark. Keep that inside. OK, slowly. Not too fast. Good girl. Shut up! Good. There you go. See, all I needed was for you to stop rabbiting at me. Oh, that's good. 
Very good. You keep going to this right, and you can think about putting it for your test. Well, stuff the test, back the present. <laughs> Bianca. What you said? Yeah, all right, but I haven't got it on me, have I? It's in the house. Well, come on, then. Ricky, what the hell do you think you're doing? Talking with the afternoon off, so I thought I'd chill out for a bit. Now have a few beers. This is some sort of joke, mate. I can't hear you, sorry. Was enjoying that. What's going on? It's not much of a welcome, is it? What are you talking about? Well, I've moved back in. You've what? Yeah, well, I can't afford the bedsit no more, so I thought I'd move back in. You don't mind, do you? Yes, I do mind. And that's my beer you're guzzling. Oh, share and share alike, eh? Flat, mate. Bianca, um, oh. I think you better go, love. What for? I've got to sort this out. But you said... I'm sorry, love. I'm sorry. We'll do it another time. Sorry about that. You are not staying here. Yes, I am. This is my dad's place. I've got as much right to beer as you have. Look, if you don't like it, there's a nice little bed set across the square. It's only 70 quid. Kettle on 18, boy. Ian, what do you order another one for? Oh, we got time. It's nearly 20 to 8. You're looking very glam. Where are you off to, then? Oh, it's free if he doesn't hurry up. Look, it'll be 15 minutes late, so it's 15 minutes we ain't got to waste with it, innit? Ooh, sounds very grim. Who's that, then? Uh. Oh, no one. Friends of Ian's business. Oh, right. Well, good luck, then. Thanks. <laughs> That was clever, wasn't it? What? Well, these flipping Mitchells, they get everywhere, don't they? Well, that's a sight for sore eyes. Very nice. Oh, glad like someone noticed. I'd get a taxi, mate, wherever it is you're taking her. Because you're going to get mobbed in a rush otherwise. You look lovely. Didn't I say? Can we go now, please, Ian? Yeah, let me just finish this first, huh? Oh, that's some bar phone for you returning your call. Uh, Fiona something. Fiona Banks? Yeah, that's the one. I wanted to know if you fancied a drink tonight. You know, now you've got the ass to yourself and that. Yes. Yeah, well, I'll put her straight. Uh, can I have a pint, please? You sure you don't want one? What do you mean you put her straight? Well, I told her that I've moved back in there and, uh, you know, you wanted to spend a bit of time with me. You did what? Yeah, she seemed a bit disappointed. But I told her the only reason why you found her in the first place is because you fancied a quickie. Isn't that right? You silly son. Yeah, let's have it out, David. Well, 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 well you're lighting up, eh? You know, know what they say. If it's not true, it can't get you, can it? Ricky? Before. I know I wind up when I see one. You come back when you've learned how to behave. Then they call me your sea boy. It's treatment like I'm nothing. You shouldn't let him wind you up. Oh no, but I can't help it. Smug git. So you won't be so happy when he finds out I've moved back in. That's definite, is it? Yeah, this afternoon. He's given Bianca a driving lesson at half two. You sure that's all he's given her? Huh? Don't let me see. So I thought I'd move the gearing over then, if that's all right. Yeah, fine. Yeah. Just make that with it anyway. Not from him or anyone. And there's that landlord. He's next. How do you mean? I want to find out who he is, where he lives, and I want to break his windows. Your what? Well, it's got to be done, isn't it? Well, I wouldn't do that if I was you. Why not? Well, I don't suppose he'd like you very much, that's all. Well, that's even a nice me. Well, he might find out, mightn't he? You know how word travels around here? Just forget about it, eh? I've got to do something, Phil. He's walking all over me. Look, you're moving now. He's done you a favour. Just think of it like that. No, I don't know. No, you don't. No, you don't know anything about this, Keezer. For all you know, it might be very heavy. Just forget about it, OK? Ricky, I'm serious. Just don't get involved, OK? Yeah, you're right. Scum like that, they ain't worth it, are they? Come on, hurry up in there. I've got to get in. What? Hurry up. I've got to get in. I'm in the bath. Come on, mate. I've got to get to work. Yeah, well, you're not the only one. I'm meeting a punter in half an hour. Now. Come on. What? Ricky. Hiya. Hey, love. Well, I'll pop in and see what you wanted for your tea. Oh, I'll be a while, yeah. Oh. You look cheerful. What do you do? Win the lottery or something? Nah. So what happened then? I made the best move I've made in years. Oh, what's that? Change the fish supply. It stuff's much fresher. Here, yeah, smell that. Here, hey, get off! Paul! Oh. Very romantic. I hope I'm not interrupting anything. Nah, she can rub me down with a chip fat later, can't you? Cool, you really know how to show a girl a good time, didn't you? Could that work? 
I had a good day. Shifted that rover at last. Pass us all, will you? That's what I like about you, Ricky. The sparkling wit and repartee of your conversation. Just because we live in the same house, it don't mean I've got to talk to you. Oh, can't say fairer than that. Mind you, if I had as much of my mind as you have, I'll keep my mouth shut and all. Eh? Hey? Well, having to find a new place when Mum comes back. You're going to have to move out of her room, mate. Unless, of course, you'll think they're kicking around. I can have her own room when she gets back. Oh, well, it's bigger, yeah. What are you going to do, anyway? I don't know. I haven't really thought about it. Probably move back into my old room. I don't think so. I'm not sharing with you again. <laughs> you said anything about sharing? I was watching that. You can watch this now. Listen, you chose to move out, Ricky. You can't just walk back in here and start throwing your weight around. I'm sorry. I do what I want. This is my dad's place. Yeah, well, like father, like son. And what's that supposed to mean? Well, you butchers, you're all the same. As soon as the going gets tough, boss, you're straight out the front door. No fault for Janine or, or me mum. That's not true. Listen, mate, I'm a reasonable enough bloke. If money's a problem finding a new gaff, I'll help you out. I ain't going nowhere. <laughs> you said it. Ricky. Hello, Nigel. Yeah, sit down. I've just been talking to David here about the tactics for tomorrow night. I'm playing Arthur. So you two are going to have to work extra hard to nurse him through. Pulling you up in the midfield, I want you to work very closely with David because Arthur just doesn't have the pace. And go easy on the ale, right? I want you both fighting fit. Is there something wrong? No. Can I get you a fruit juice or a shandy? I have a pint. Scottish, please, Nigel. All right. Just this once, all right? Ricky. What? Shut up. Only wants me to move out. Ignore him. He can't touch you. I wouldn't put it past him. Don't worry about him. He ain't got no guns. Give it to me. Oi, oi. Something Give it to me. Oi. You know what, for a grown man, you're not a big child I'm sometimes. reading. Yeah, my paper. It's yesterday's paper, actually. You weren't reading it. I'm not reading it because you've got it. Now give it to me. Give it to me. I'm sick of it. Look at, look at the state of it. Why don't you go and buy your own paper? Where are you going? To buy my own paper. Hey, well, what about this lot? What about it? Well, don't you think you should help me clear it up? It's your mess, mate. Yeah, yours too. Yeah, but my dad's bigger than your dad. Why don't you grow up, David? Yeah, well, why don't you? And you can stick the rubbish out after you've done the washing up. Oh, and by the way, I've started the crossword. What? Yeah, is it me or is he looking ten years younger? Arthur, wizard of the flaming dribble. Oh, you know, he's totally reorganised my team. What is that? He's trying to help, ain't he? No, he's mucking up my plan. It's the pressures of the modern game. You should never stand in the way of royal talent. Is that what you're calling him, wizard of the dribble? No, it's not. <laughs> I think it suits him. Oh, I'm glad somebody finds it funny. Oh, come on, it's only a game. Oh, you try telling him that. Has you been fed at home? It's not a food cafe. It's the adult conversation I've come in here for. Oh, things that bad? You better ask Mr. Rizma Bypass. Oh, that's not fair. Ricky's all right. Ah, but you knew I was talking about though, didn't you? You've not no idea what it's like living in the cafe. He's been moaning on at me ever since I got up. My heart bleeds, David. It really does. <laughs> anyway, aren't you supposed to set a good example? You know, the older, more mature man? Me? Never. But I do a thing like that. Yeah, that's true as well. <laughs> You can go off paper, you know. Can't argue with your hair, love. Anyone I know? Someone tall, dark, and eating a bacon and egg roll. How much longer am I going to have to wait? For what? A present. Oh, very convincing. I've seen better in Sonia's school play. Look, you'll have to wait for me to get sorted out, love. I've got a lot on my mind at the moment. Yeah, it looks like it. So when shall I pop round then, tonight? No, no, I can't. I've, uh, I've got football. David? Hey, besides, I want to give it to you on your next lesson. Why? Because it's, um, well, it's something to do with driving. Not one of them stupid steering locks? No, 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 it's not. It's, it's something very nice. You'll like it. Do you think you'll be a good girl till then? When am I for anything else? I'll just put it while I was there, probably. Right, excuse me. Thanks for this. Mm, nice. All right. Anything interesting in there? Yeah, funny enough, there is. Look. Yeah. Young man killed by a flatmate in argument over yesterday's newspaper. See <laughs> mm -hmm. ya. You all right? It's not them. 
Can't you tell? I'm at the peak of my physical fitness. So you and David are getting on? So I talked to a five-year-old. In here's the only place I'll get any peace. So he's done nothing but get at me since I've got up. Temper sling is up. You know, you don't have to live with him, do you? It might be my imagination, Mickey, but I think I've heard this somewhere before. I'll tell you what, Steve. I've got a big plan for you tonight. Oh, yeah, who's that? Arthur. Wizard of Dribble. <laughs> Uh, are you sure it's in the last 90 minutes? Uh, shouldn't someone notify the St John's ambulance? I hope they're not going to spend all night taking a mickey out of him. Oh, you started it. What? Calling him that name. Look, I know he's past it. I know he doesn't know what he's doing, but I want you to take him seriously. You see, that's what's missing in the modern game, lads. Loyalty. Nine, one. Oh, nine, 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 one. Very good. Well done. Can't you tell everyone to keep still? Where are they all, anyway? Relax, Nigel. They'll all be here in a minute. All right. Telephone, Nigel. The wizard arrived yet? No, he's not coming, Steve. The way I heard it, he's had a better offer off Millwall. <laughs> are you? Yeah, really. Come and see you up, Carla. Who's the wizard? Jack, when you don't want to be late, you know. No, I'm early for next week. The Black Swan's just cancelled. You're joking. No, I hope they're scared of our latest signing. You. <laughs> I think Sanjay's going to have to fight for his place now. <laughs> Um, put feet up if I were you. Okay, close your eyes. David. Do as you're told. You can't tell me what to do. Right then. That's what I say. Okay. Open them up. This lovely. Do you like it? What is it? Uh, it's, it's St. Christopher. Patron St. Learner Drivers. It's really nice. I didn't know he was going to go to all this trouble. You shouldn't have. Don't you think you're worth it? Well, I'm horrible to you most of the time. Is it real silver? Mm, yeah. Good. Mm. Prefer silver. Gold looks vulgar. So, does this mean I can have an accident then and I'll be all right? No, it means you can't have an accident. You've got to wear it all the time, right? It means you'll never have an accident, and anyone who hits you, half a mile up the road, they're beginning to fall off. Mm -hmm. And what does it mean if we can't get it fastened? Well, it probably means you're not doing it right, yeah. Let me have a go. No-one's ever bought me anything like this before. Only cheap rubbish off the market, but that don't count, does it? Right. Um, right. That's it. I'm sorry. Can you do it? Hang on. You know what this means, didn't you? We'll have to go drive and see if it works. So what's it like reversing round a corner, then? We'd have to put it on backwards, wouldn't you? Mm -hmm. Here, let me have a go. Sorry. Still having problems. Yeah. Look, you do one side, I'll do the other. Is that better? Hang on, hang on. Let me do it. What's this? Dancing lessons as well, is it? What are you doing, Bag? I live here. Oh. oh. That'll go and get ready. See ya. The key? I was only trying to fasten a pendant, mate. Took your time. I thought you weren't coming. Oh, Bianca. We're going driving the right way. Um. We just go out with Tiffany. Yeah, I've got time for a quick lesson first. Well, listen, if you want to leave it for another day, love, I really don't yeah. mind. Okay, if you're ready. We, uh, we won't be long, all right? Try putting the choke out. Do you want me to go left? Well, we're not going to Cambridge, love. Can we stay for a bit longer? No, come on, we've got to get oh, back. please, I'm just starting to get the angle. I'm just worried about... No, do you want me to go left or not? No. Uh, yeah, go on. 
wait, 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 let me do it. All right, all right. I mean, if you didn't have the time, Dave, you just shouldn't have brought me out here. Oh, I'm sorry. It's only an idiot anyway. I don't know getting yourself so worked up about. Do you know where we are? No idea. Only seen a road since we turned off. I think we should start getting back, Bianca. I know it starts to bleed this one off. Oh, come on, come on. It's time we were back. Two more minutes. We've seen Tiffany tonight. Yeah, that's the point. What's the time? It was 20 past seven. What? Why didn't you tell me she's gonna kill me? Yeah, look, pull in over there. Come on, and we can turn around. Right. Here we give the driving lesson. Oh, they're sitting there and I'll take over. Will you have to tell me if I'm clear? From in here. I can't do it if you stood outside. Sorry. Right, can look now. Okay, go on. Lift them down. Slowly. Well, that's great. Okay, I'll take it. Did it before? Come on, what's the problem? I still know. Well, go on then. What? Do something. Try and open it for us, please. There's a handle underneath. <sighs> Where? Under, under the wheel. I can't find it. It's under there. Where? Can't you find it? Oh. <laughs> I'll try again. Yeah, go on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Stop, stop, stop. Flatten the battery. Why don't you try it then? There's no point. You'll have to leave it. We'll have to find a phone or something so Ugh, we can ring a garage. We're stuck in the middle of nowhere. Well, there's baby. going to be a phone somewhere, isn't there? Come on, we'll have to walk just as far as the phone. What about the car? What about it? I'm not leaving it. Look, Bianca, I'm not being funny, but I don't think anyone's going to take it, do you? Then, are you going to come with me or are you going to lock yourself inside? Which do you want to do? Do you think you'll be all right on your own? You're joking, aren't you? Right. Well, in that case, heads or tails. Do you want to go that way or that way? Which do you want to do? All oh, right, has Bianca been in? You know, I thought it was quite in here, Carol. Well, has she or hasn't she? Why should she be? What is this, Grant? 20 questions? I ain't seen her since this afternoon. No, have you seen Bianca? Why, well, what's wrong? Well, she went for a driving lesson at six. I've just spoken to Tiffany. She should have been around there at eight. She's not turned up. Daughters, eh? I suppose I've got all this to come. You haven't seen her then? Uh, you know it like about phoning, especially at that age. Yeah, all right, cheers. I'll be one in a minute. I just want to see what's down there. Look, I don't think I can go much oh, further. Oh, come on, darling. Don't give up now. I can't. Well, you can't stand out here all night. We've got to find a phone box. Come on, love. It's not going to be long now. Come on. Well, the least you can do is walk next to me. David! Ah! You ah. Right? What did you do? Oh, God, little love. Put me foot in an hole. I am. Oh, get up, love. Come on, no, it hurts. Where? Up there. Up there? Did you see anything? No. Oh, look, get up and see if you can put some weight on it. Oh. You all right? Thank God. Right, try and walk. Okay. Am I going to ring her or do you want to do it? I will. What am I going to say? Just tell her the truth. Just say the car's broke down. We're going to ring a garage. They're going to come and pick us up. Yeah, but do you think we'll be able to find Gary? Yes, yes, we're bound to. Come on, at least we've got a phone box. That's the main thing. We'll do all right, love. Come on. <sighs> <sighs> 
Car's broken down. Ah, uh, is that what you call it? You'd had no chance if you'd gone the other way. There isn't a phone box for miles. Where have you come from now? Only local. How about you? Walford. You a bit out of your way? Oh, it's my driving lesson. Mm. I'll see if it's working, shall I? Tell you what, he'll have a hell of a job to find you. It all looks the same around here, especially in the dark. It's working! Oh, they luck, we shouldn't have to wait too long. Maybe. Mind you, I'd say you're a lucky bloke already. She's my daughter. All right? So, guys, that'd be Robert. Well, look, I'll give Ricky a ring and he can get a message to your mum and let her know you're all right. And then what? I'm going to ring a garage on her and tell him to come and pick us up. Ricky. Right. Just coming out, right? The phone goes. It's David. He's on a driving list with Bianca. The car breaks down. He's stuck in the middle of nowhere. Mm, you know Carol's looking for him. Yeah, well, I'll go around there in a minute. Yeah, I would. Put a mind at rest. Yeah, well, first things first, eh? Pipe, please. Coming up. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Um, it's about uh, ten minutes up the crossroads on the left. Yeah. No, 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 on the left. OK, mate, yeah. Right, I'll see you soon. OK. Yep, yeah, cheers. Bye-bye. <sighs> right, he reckons he knows where we are. What, Ian? No, we've got to wait back at the car. I'm sorry, Bianca. I'll come on, you lot. you got someone to go home to. <laughs> well, we all know the answer in your case, really. Didn't work then. What? St. Christopher. Patron Saint of Lana Drivers. No, I don't suppose it did. Pity they don't do one for mechanics. I thought you the car's scrap. Shouldn't be too long. Just as well it's not raining, really. It's a joke, David. <sighs> Quiet here, isn't it? <sighs> Never get that in Warford. Never quite there. You can always hear something going on. <sighs> Never goes dark there, either. Don't go black. It goes orange when it goes dark. It can't be right, can it? Do you think we're going to have to spend the whole night here? I don't know. You annoyed with me, David. David. <laughs> so 
all right. It's only chewing gum wrapper. Can't laugh, ain't you? Are you crying? You got all oil on your face. I think it's better if I talk to this her. This is my fault. I'll talk to her and I'll tell her exactly what happened. And I don't want you to worry. She'll listen to me. <gasps> Same time next week, yeah? Where the hell have you been? Mum, I suppose it was too much trouble for you to phone me. I tried. Yeah, did he tell you to say that? Well, don't talk to her like that. That's the truth, Mum. I phoned Ricky. Ricky? Well, that's the first I've heard of it. Oh. Get inside now, Bianca. I've had enough. Go on. Oh, this is pathetic. Do you know that? I'm sorry, all right? Carol. Her father, what arm is she going to come to? Good morning. Hi. You've been driving. Can I give you a piece of advice? Whatever you do in this life, don't ever, and I mean this, don't ever teach anyone to drive. What are you doing up this early anyway? I don't know, I couldn't sleep. I might go in the cafe for coffee or something. Mm. But like you could do with a drink. Oh, I think I need something a bit stronger than coffee, Cindy. There's a bottle of scotch in the pork cabin. Do you fancy one? Yeah, why not? Yeah. What's your drink to? Well, I don't know about you, Cindy, but seeing as I've just spent all night cooped up in that car, I'm drinking to forget. Sounds good enough to me. All night in the car, Bianca Jackson, eh? Yes, it's a nightmare. Someone's got to do it. And just at this moment, I can't think of anything worse. I can. All night in a flat of Ian. You want to try that one? Hmm. No. 
Bianca's definitely worse. Yeah, well, at least Bianca knows how to behave herself. Anyway, you don't know my problems. Pretty well, she's gonna tell him to. So, is that any else here? I think I should go home. I thought you said there was nothing to go home for. I never said that. You and you're not getting on? I never said that either. You've had an argument, that's all. Anyway, what's it got to do with you? Well, I'm just showing the more caring side of my nature. <laughs> First time for everything, isn't it? Do you want to know what I think? What? No, nah, forget it. No, go on, I want to know. No, 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 no. I don't think you want to hear this. <laughs> all right, fine. I don't think I'm all that bothered. We all make mistakes, Cindy. I think you've realised that you should never have married Ian and you don't want to go back. No one makes you say that. Tell me if I'm right. That's between me and Ian. I don't see what's got to do with you. But if you can't see that, I'm not going to tell you. Thanks for the drink. It doesn't deserve you. And you know that. Yeah, well, you pay your money and you take your pick, David. And you know what the really sickening thing is? He thinks it's him that's too good for you. And he's wrong. And, like you said, there's a first time for everything. Doing up, love. Been up all night. Bianca didn't get until gone five. <laughs> so what's new? I mean, who was it this time? Tiffany? No. David Wicks. Every time I think about me, it makes my blood boil. Mm. I mean, she's out all night, God knows where, God knows what's happened to her. I've been worried sick. And then, right, then he has the nerve to come out with some pathetic story about leaving a message with Ricky. But didn't you know she had a driving license? Of course license? I did. But I didn't think she was still with him, did I? I mean, I've been imagining all kinds of things. How could he do this to me? It's because he couldn't give a toss. Yeah, well, I'm not having it. No way. No way. Well, look, tell him the driving lessons are off. I can't. The banker's not going to stand for that, is she? Not in a million years. That's what you're going to do. I'm going to wring his neck when I get hold of it. What time is it? I don't know. Ten to? Mm, ten to what? Seven. Seven? What time did you get up? Oh, ages ago. Didn't you hear me? No, I was well out of it. I couldn't sleep, so I went for a walk in the square. <laughs> Kids are awake. Mm. You'd sleep for anything, wouldn't you? I'm going for a shower. Any objections? No, I do you want. Mm. It's all right. Daddy's coming. Thank you very much, mate. Reliable Ricky Butcher, just the man for a crisis. You're the messenger boy. Look at it, look. It's 
place is getting worse. Clean it up, then. I'm not cleaning your mess. Are you going to be all day or what? Yes, sir. The state you left this place in yesterday was disgusting. That's your dinner, then. Soup. Oh, you had soup and all. Yeah, I have minestrone and you had tomato. And that is definitely tomato. And how can you tell that? Well, tomato we cover. Not well, as tomato and minestrone. Yeah, not as much as there is in tomato. Well, it looks like minestrone to me. Listen, I've had enough of you and your filthy habits. Oh, well, no, look what you've done. Stay a bit. It's one would do the worst to get off. I reckon you're on the turn, mate. Listen, you're going to do your share in this house whether you like it or not. You want to turn into a little house one? It's fine by me. But I've got other things on my mind. Yeah. We know what they are. Look, you want this place to be in the tip, so when Pat gets back, she blames me. Is that it? Hey? I'm going for a bath. But I wanted a bath. What's he lying to me about a phone call, eh? You so of it. What's he taking for? Stupid. Hurry up, you not. You'll be late. Come on. Just so love her. Why are you going up so you can get your head down? No. Just no, 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 I'm still turned up to sleep. All right, Dad. Morning. Listen, you two, you have to get your own breakfast this morning, all right? Oh, brilliant. Go on. Oh, Bill, this is there. I'll have breakfast. I mean, I still don't know what happened. Probably ran out of petrol. And I don't want that left. Oh, there's no milk left. He gave it to his dog. The kitchen in it for their breakfast. The last two blame me all the time. Move it out, Bobby. Your mum's got a lot on her mind, all right? Go on. Come on. Be still asleep. Yeah, well, she would be, wouldn't she? <laughs> well, that's be all over, innit? Oh, I bet no. Witch is still asleep and all. Yeah, uh, how long were they in that car for? Well, must have been hours. I mean, they spent all night there. Do you know something? I think I'm going to go around here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You've tried that and it didn't work, did it, Alan? Is your back? Yeah. Safe and sound. So it's here in that park. At last. Bianca, we need to talk. We well, didn't want to talk last night, did you? You're going to tell us what happened then? Yeah. Mum gave David a really bad time for no reason. That's what happened. He deserved it. What for? For keeping you out till past five in the morning, that's no. why. Mum, I'm not a kid. No, without a word about where you were. He left a message with Ricky. Well, I didn't get it. Well, we all know how reliable Ricky is, don't we? Where'd you get to then? Oh, I don't know, in the country somewhere, Braintree or something. Oh, Becca, that's miles out. I thought this was supposed to be a local driving lesson around the streets of Wolford. So, why didn't you phone me then? I did phone Mum, it was engaged. Yeah, well, I didn't touch that phone all night. Well, like somebody that. did. Robbie? Been ringing the 0898 numbers again. You said you wouldn't. Told you, see? So, uh, why didn't you phone again, then? <sighs> oh, we had to get back to the car for the breakdown truck. Mum, are you accusing me of lying? No. See? The truth is, David did try and leave a message, but you were just too busy being angry to let him explain. Hey, want to go over you? What about? About this. What's this? This is tomato. I saved it for you. I found it behind the bin. <laughs> There's all kinds of stuff behind there, and it's all yours. So you can deal with it as well as the cook, all right? I ain't taking the blame for something that ain't mine. I was right, mate. You are on the turn. You know, I haven't seen you looking so well in ages. Not even after your holiday. Oh, I'm a bit tired, actually. Yeah, what you been up to? Well, I've not been up to anything. <laughs> because you're going red. Oh, don't be silly. So how'd you get on it in dear? Careful, darling. Good. We're very formal. I was sort of welcoming Sanjay back into the family after... Well, he was so nervous. <laughs> I took it all really seriously. <laughs> Plus, we need to be prepared to miss football for it. Yeah, well, if you play around, you have to pay the price, don't you? Yeah, I suppose you do. Come on, darling. You'll have to go and see him, you know. Why? Well, I can't leave things the way they are. I won't be put in the wrong by David Wicks. How comes you're in the wrong? You must be tired. You're not going to apologise, are you? No way. Do just want to just go to bed, Helen? Carol! 32 flavours they had in that place. Do you know how many I had? Seven. Well, I'm sorry, T. An hour and a half eating ice cream. Well, it weren't my fault. I don't even like ice cream. And I don't like being set up, Bianca. Oh, come off it, T. I've had it off my mum and Alan. Don't you go on mingy on me as well. Well, where were you then? Well, my driving lesson went on a bit longer than expected. Oh, right, so you with David? Yeah. What, all night? <laughs> Come in. So, what's this? Round two. No. You want a car? I can do a nice little deal. You're a cocky side, aren't you, David? So you don't want to buy a car, you don't want to ruck. 
Maybe you finally want to hear what I've got to say. Bianca told me. Well, I tried telling you and all, but you wouldn't believe me. Yeah, I've not had reason to do that, have I? Anyway, I was, um... I was... Wrong? From... Is this an apology? OK, I was wrong. Have you any idea how worried I was? I mean, what mother wouldn't be under the circumstances? There was no need to be. She was with her father. In the middle of nowhere. Yeah, well, that was her idea. She wanted to go where there was less traffic. Yeah, but it's up to you to say no. She insisted. She would. She likes her own way. I mean, you do realise that she's twisting you around her little finger. Yes, I know, I know. It won't last, though. It's just a difficult time, that's all. For everybody. I mean, what, what people are going to think if they see you bringing her back in the early hours? Exactly. So why don't you tell people about me? Because I don't want my private business to talk of the square. <laughs> but it's never stopped you in the past. Anyway, thanks for the apology. Don't mention it. I mean, I don't even know why I'm laughing. It's not even funny. No. Stuck in the middle of nowhere in the middle of the night. <laughs> I never had you down as a country girl, babe. No, neither did I. That car he gave me is rubbish. Well, maybe you should tell him to get you a better one, then. While you're at it, you can tell him he can give me one, I know. <laughs> Any time. <laughs> so, um, you slept in it, did you? What? The car. Well, we had no choice. It was hours before the breakdown truck arrived. Oh. So it's just you and him all night? Yeah, if you don't count the cows in the next field. Hmm. Excellent opportunity. What do you mean? You know what I mean. I don't look at him like that, Tiff. He's my dad. Yeah, well, I do. Good-looking bloke who knows how to treat a girl. If I'd have been in your knickers, I'd know what to do with him. And them. <laughs> I don't think I like this. Oh, no? You told me you liked it a lot with the right bloke. Just leave it out, will ya? Well, that is what he did with you, didn't he? You are disgusting, do you know that? You've got a mind like a sewer. Oh, right, and you haven't. No, I ain't. Well, maybe you should listen to yourself sometimes, <laughs> Bianca. How long have you been there? Just keep it down, all right? I would have thought you caused enough aggro for one day. What can I get you, love? Whiskey, please. Large. Hey, nice suit, Ian. <laughs> yeah, it was better than a tat you sell. Mm. Cheers, Oh, make your mind up. You coming or going? This is your busy time, isn't it, mate? Yeah, I'm sorry. Jason can manage it. Just fancy the quick one. Yeah. What's going to you, then? Women. You try to say you're sorry, but no, you haven't suffered enough yet, have you? They want you to feel really bad. I mean, what do they want, eh? What do they want? Never mind, mate. I'm sure it'll all work out for the best in the end. See ya. Oh, not again. I want to talk. We well, can talk yourself. I've got things to do. I've been thinking. We well, should be working, really. So we've got to get something sorted out before Pat gets back. Oh, she's going to go mad. So? A cleaner. Mate, if you want a cleaner, that's fine by me. Now, if you don't mind, I've got to get on. Well, you pay three quarters and I'll pay a quarter. Yeah, miss. I'm not paying to clean up your mess. Thank you, butcher. I want a word. What's this about a message? Good luck, mate. Blossom, this cup of tea, please. Listen, if it's all right with you, I'm just going to sit down there, uh, over there, for, uh, for five minutes. You're tired? Yeah, I am. Me too. Uh, listen, if I drop off, just leave me all right, because I feel like I haven't slept for weeks. Right. <clears throat> Brilliant penalty. Hey? Eh? Also, I heard the one you scored to get the team in the semi and then in the final because of the bye. Thanks, love. Put one like that myself. Lee Valley, 1972. Oh, the goalkeeper didn't get a glove on it. Like Carol Jackson chewing me ear off. You're the one who's out of her all night, and I'm the one who gets blamed. Well, that'll teach you to forget my messages. What is it with you, eh? Why'd you do it every single time? What are you doing? I'm talking to you. Do you know how far I had to walk to make that call? Just so they wouldn't worry. Miles! All you had to do was walk over the square. My jacket. What? My jacket. Is that all you got to say, eh? That's a turn up, isn't it? Yeah. 
Yeah, we found the win. Well, that's looking good, isn't it? You're right. Fine. You're going to pile. Am I? Mm. What's all this then? Uh, Gracefield Athletic knocked out from the field. Didn't no, really? Yeah. What was the score? 1 0. Yeah, what was the score? 1 0. What are we going to do about taking penalties? I think the captain should take the penalties. But I thought Ricky was taking them. No, we're going on form. David scored one in a match and eight out of ten in training. Mm. Glory under strikes again. Well, I can't help it. I'm naturally gifted. Well, what about the two he missed? I didn't want to make Ron look completely useless, did I? He missed it. I mean, it was obvious. Hang on, hang on. What is it with you two? We're supposed to be in the same team, remember? Yeah, don't mean I have to like him. But you're not even talking to each other. How are you going to call for the ball? Sign language? Now, look. You either shake hands and stop behaving like three-year-olds, or you don't play. Your manager has spoken. Right. That's better. Right. <laughs> and I want 100% commitment out there today. Remember our two key words? Commitment and discipline. Absolutely. Can we have a drink while we're waiting for the bus? Yeah, yeah, but no alcohol. You know my views on that. This is a time for clear heads. A time for quiet reflection before battle commences. I've reflected. Now I want some beer. Yeah. Hey! All right, all right, all right. <laughs> Just halves, all right? Just halves, mates. No, no, I didn't know you had it in you, the way you sorted out David and Ricky. Man management, Mrs M. Hallmark of a great manager. It's all a question of making a mess. I know. Uh, putting that inner indecision into his mind at the crucial moment so that when he goes to shoot, he's got no clear vision of where the ball is going to go. You see, I saw a lot of it in the World Cup. Yeah. You know, when they have the penalty. Oh, there you are. Oh, I've been looking all over for you. What? What have you been? Oh, um, I just spent the long dress. Yeah, well, I've got to go down to the cash and carry. We're running low on soft drinks, bags, sauces. What? No, soft drinks, bags, sauces, the stuff you're supposed to check every week. Oh, Ian, I'm sorry, I'll go and do it now. Well, that's what I'm just saying. I've done it. That's why I'm going to the cash and carry. Oh. What's up with you? Nothing. Yeah. Well, I'll be back about four, OK? OK. Right. I've got a Oh, right, yeah. Hi, Steve. How's it going? I'm still aching all over. How about you? No, I'm all right now, actually. You had half of you? Oh, I had a man. He asked his first thing. Oh, he did an action replay of the whole match. Every corner, back pass and goal. Oh, I had everything as well. <laughs> he gave me half hour on the missed penalty. <laughs> I'll see you later. All right, I'll see you later. What do you want? Don't jump down my throat, mate. I haven't asked you anything yet. Yeah, well, he was just about to. Listen, I've got to nip out to uh, Kingsbury and pick a car up. So, what's that got to do with me? Would you do us a favour and switch the oven on for us? Uh, that time is bust. So? So I've bung one of those all-in dinner things in there and I want you to turn it on for us so it's ready when I get home. Well, I'm having fish and chips. Ricky, I'm not asking you to dinner, mate. I'm just asking you to turn the cooker on at the wall when you get in. Why should I cook your tea if I ain't having any of it? You just said you was having fish and chips. Well, I, I am. Ricky, I'm asking you to flick a switch, not redecorate the kitchen. Yes or no? Well, think about it. Don't bother. What are you doing here? Come to see David. Oh. He's giving me another driving lesson. Well, he's not back yet. He's got to pick a car up or something. All right, I'll wait. There you go. Didn't he say what time he'd be back? No. It'd be dark at this right? I mean, I just don't like driving in the dark. Well, I'm not surprised after last time. <laughs> so, how you been? Yeah, all right. Oh, good. I thought you'd have been at the football yesterday. Yeah, well, I wanted to go, but um, me and Tiffany had to go down the West End. We didn't get back till late. All right. Oh, we won? Yeah. Yeah, I heard. <sighs> so, how about you? What? Have well, you been all right? Yeah. Never better. Good. So, uh, you heard from Natalie, then? No. Why well, should I? No, I just wondered. Well, I haven't. Have you? No. But, um, do you want anything to eat or something? No, 
Look, Ricky, I think I'd better go. Oh, look, he'll be here in a minute. It's bound to be. He had to wear a big Ron shirt, right? The sleeves come down past his ankles, and the other part was sitting on his knees. He looked like, you know, one of them chimps on the telly. Yanka. Oh. oh, you remember your name then? What? Well, it don't matter. I've only been sitting here over an hour. Oh, sorry, love. I had a job to do. The car wasn't there when I got there. You know, yeah, it's all right. Ricky made me a cup of tea. Yes, oh, I see. Thanks, uh, thanks, Ricky. That's all right. Oh, I'll switch the oven on for you as well. Oh, cheers. There's nothing in it, though. No? Okay? Well, after I saw you this afternoon, I took it in. <coughs> Poor Daddy's not having a very good day, are you? No, not really, no. <laughs> right, driving this one, yeah? No, thanks. Why? Because you're too late. See you later, Rico. See you later. Morning. God, you look knackered, mate. Just so would you do if you had a proper job. Oh, just make it look easy. I'm a master of my craft, like. Is that why you're working bank holidays? Trying to catch up on all your mistakes? Who said I was working? I'm just checking the place over. That's what you do when you're in management. Waste not, want not. Dead as a dodo. What are you doing here anyway? Have you seen what you've done to this? Look at it. it used to fit me perfectly. Yeah, well, people grow. I mean, you can't wear the same clothes all your life, you know. It's all right till you bummed it in with your washing. You shouldn't have left it lying around, should you? I want money for this, mate. Look, it was my best jumper. Hand wash only. Look, you even put a little label in so that Burks like you know what to do. So what you come round here for? Show me your stupid jumper. Oh, well, I just thought you better know what your holiday bonus is going towards. What holiday bonus? Oh, don't tell me Phil's got you working here at the normal rate. You don't even know I'm here today. You know, we're meant to be closed. <laughs> Why, are you some sort of masochist? If you must know, I've got nothing better to do, all right? You know, I was bored, so I thought I'd come in. Ah, oh, little Ricky. All on his own with no one to talk to. Just him and his spanner. Here, crying to this. All right, Cathy? Yeah, that's about Hi. You having fun? Yes. Jordan, Daryl, come on. Bye. You picked a nice day for it. Nice day for what? I'm sure you can think of something, see? I'm sure I can. You know, it's amazing what motherhood can do to some women. Some look tired and haggard all the time, you know. Some bloom. And others just go mental. Which one am I? Is this all you're up to on your day off? This is all I ever do. I thought it might be different today, but Ian's working. Well, I suppose people still like their chips, even on a bank holiday. Do you want to see Phil about? Uh, no, why? Because well, I'm looking for him. Oh, yeah. Well, I've just tried the arches. Ricky's still beaving away in there, is he? Yeah, poor old soul. Looked a bit lonely and all. Listen, when I do track Phil down, uh, why don't you and Ian come meet us in the bit for a drink, hey? Uh, yeah, Kath, that'd be nice, but well, Ian's working. I think he can stop working, can't he? I did. Yeah, I suppose so. I'll, I'll have a word with him. <laughs> Sounds like fun. Nice family gathering. What more could you ask for, eh? Hey, listen, why don't you get gear or something to look after the kids? Have a bit of an ease up, eh? Yeah, I will. All right, Kathy. Fine. See ya. You know, I never understand how someone like Kathy gave birth to someone like Ian. Must have been a mix-up in the maternity ward. Yeah, we'll never know, will we? Come on, Stephen, we're going. <sighs> nice talking to you. Yeah. Really made my day. How did the music session go? Oh, Alan will be glad. No, he won't. Not after the earful Bianca's just given him. Did you have a go at him? Yeah, he was asking for it. He tried to chat Tiff out, so I told him where to get off, didn't I? Yeah. You should have seen the look on his face. You just have to give him such a hard time. Yeah, I do, as a matter of fact. You just don't get it, do you? Get what exactly? Look, I'm talking to my sister, all right? Look, you talk to her, you talk to me, all right? I mean, you don't have to be that horrible to him, do you, B? Look, maybe when you're a bit older, you'll understand just that little bit better. I mean, they're upset as well, Bianca. I heard them talking. You heard. Just that they wish it had been different, you know, handled better. I mean, how did they know that Davy was just going to turn up like that? I mean, come on, B, give him a break. Just give me a break, will ya? He's such an idiot. <laughs>
It's nice to know you make one of the kids happy. <laughs> we didn't. It was Nigel's idea to take Sonny with him and Claire. Yeah, it's a shame Bianca doesn't like lions. No, yeah, I blame that Tiffany. They're both as bad as each other. That Tiffany's a real bitch, Alan. Well, obviously, some of it's rubbing off on Bianca. You know, I reckon she's having a son. She ain't traumatised at all. Of course she is. I mean, how would you feel in her position? Well, she seems to be more controlled than she's letting on. I mean, look at all that stuff she's sponging off for David. Well, she's in shock. Well, it's about time she sorted herself out, then. I mean, she's had long enough to get used to the idea. Look, I know she's a little madam, but I just don't want to push her. So much longer I'm going to carry on tiptoeing around her. Look, I tell you, Carol, you give a kid an inch and they'll walk all over you. Maybe you should go back to bed. Oh, I'd love to. But it's hard to sleep through 90 decibels of dance music. Come, Sonia, let's go to the playground, eh? Oh, the playground? That's so uncool. Well, I'll put a blanket over it so no one knows it's you. All right? See you later, Mum. Tell her, darling. The anchor's running us ragged, Carol. You know that as well as I do. What's it? Yeah. Free country, isn't it? It's a bit crowded in here, don't it? Yeah, it's no mention it. I think I'll leave you two to it, too. I've got things to do. See you later. See you. So, how you been? You all right, thanks. What is that? Oh, shit, the You want some? No, thanks. Looks all right, well. Oh, thanks for changing from the cafe. Don't David cook for you, then? David? Oh, cook a pot noodle. It's in the state of the place. I tell you, it's horrible being at home these days. Yeah, I know how you feel. Anyway, I don't think you should live with your parents after you're 16. It's just not natural. Or your stepbrother. Well, at least you don't act to death. I'm joking, again. Who's the bright old woman when he gets gay? Can't be worse than sharing a room with Sonia, though. Yeah, where are you going? Um, do you want another drink or something? No, thanks. Uh, you, you doing anything tonight? Bye. I just thought you might fancy a drink or something. No, oh, thanks, Ricky. I'm going out with Tiffany. We're going to buy Mexico. See you later. See you. Uh-huh. Yeah. Well, I've shifted that over, so just uh, send over whatever you want. <laughs> I'm on a roll, mate. All right? Cheers, Barry. OK, I'll see you later. All right. Hello. Fine, yeah. Look, Miss A. No. Take a little toy. That's business, then. It's good, yeah. Doing quite well at the minute. What's the deal's going through? Good. You let me 20 quid then. Fancy if you're going out tonight, I want to get a cap on. Bianca. Well, you don't want to sketch in the night bus, do you? It's all full of all sorts of weirdos on there. There you go. And that should leave you with some change, right? Okay. So, when's my next driving lesson then? We haven't been out since we got stranded. Yeah, I know. It's just I was worried at the time, you know. Well, what about later on today? No, no, I can't. I can't do it at all today. Come on, please. I'm going to forget how to do it at this rate. Look, love. I said to you before, I'd love to, but I can't. I'm just really busy at the minute. Right, excuse me. You want to keep walking out the cabs all the time? Well, maybe tomorrow evening. Yeah, let's check my diary. <sighs> but yeah. Are hey, you, love? Yeah, hi. Extra hot. No, it's not. It's ketchup. Oh, I don't think so. Have a look. What? Oh, I must have put the wrong one. Let's take it back. Anything that you bought home by accident? Dog food? Somebody else's kids? Don't you? Are you expecting anyone? No, I don't think so. Hello? Yeah, come on up. Oh, yeah. You all right? Listen, um, sorry to bother you. I think this is Stephen's, uh, here. Oh, right. Playground. Yeah, he's whinging all about losing my race. Oh, cheers for that. Hey, Jen, all right? Yeah, not bad. Hey, surprise me, sir. Very Hello, Stephen. Hello, David. You left Stephen's toy in the playground yesterday. Oh, right, yeah, thanks. <laughs> Cost a small fortune, these things. How'd he lose it? I don't know. He probably just put it down. Damn, right, scatterbrain, isn't you? Well, you can't be watching them all the time, can you? No, I suppose not. Where are the little ends, anyway? I don't know, sir. Got it most days now. Oh, right. I bet you enjoy that, didn't you? Having them off your hand for a change. A bit of freedom. Thanks for bringing it back. Mm. Yeah, you got time for a cup? Oh, I'd love one, mate. Please, yeah. As long as I'm not interrupting anything. No, no, no. Uh, oh. Ian, I'll, um, think I'll go and change that chilli sauce. What, now? Yes, Ian. I want to do it before it's time to get the kids back. Oh, suit yourself. 
I don't know what gets into these women sometimes. Must be hormones. Yeah. She's a lady of leisure these days. Well, she's certainly looking very good on it. Yeah, she never liked hard work. <laughs> do you know, they once calculated how much you'd have to pay someone to do the job of a young mother. Ah, how much? 18 grand. No. Oh, I'll tell you, well, don't let Cindy hear you say that. I'll never really end of it. I'll tell you what, though, she's been a lot happier since I took Michael. Who's that? Oh, new assistant. I've got two now. Better luck. Jason will be managing the place in the not-too-distant future, and I can stop working there myself. <laughs> What's this, early retirement? Nah, no, branching out. I tell you what I really need is seating. I want to make sure the next place I open up has got plenty of room for tables, chairs, that sort of thing. Have you thought about going in with your mum? Nah, I've done that. It's a waste of time. Steve seems to do all right over there. He's got someone helping him now, you know? Yeah? Sure, I'd love to know how much he makes over there. I've been in there loads of times lately. It's, uh, it always seems pretty packed, you know? Hmm? What sort of stuff's you got on the menu? Oh, the usual sort of stuff, you know. Well, like what? Jack and potatoes, burgers, you know, that sort yeah. of stuff. Why don't you go over and check it out? Yeah, yeah, I might do that, actually. Oh, I'm keeping an eye on the competition, is there? Yeah, true. Cindy got to me. How long does it take to change a bottle of salt? Listen, I'd better shoot myself. Yeah? Well, um, thanks for bringing back Steve's toy, anyway. That's all right. Listen, do you fancy a drink later? Uh, yeah, Cindy won't mind staying in. OK, then I'll uh, give you a call. All right, cheers, mate. All right, B. Yeah. Tell you what, I feel better for that. Lucky you. Listen, uh, I'm sorry for having a pop at you yesterday. Yeah, it's just working nights, you know. I get stressed out. Oh. I can really get to it. Maybe you should get another job then. Yeah, well. Anyway, I've got tonight off, so uh, let's make the most of it, eh? Yeah, I suppose so. I've got nothing catching, you know. Yeah, but all the same. Alan, you're turning into a right old fast Anyway, uh, tell Tiffany I'll buy a drink sometime. Oh, we're going out tonight, so we'll have the money instead, if you like. Come on, son. Look at those cogs grinding away. Animal. Excellent, eh? Yeah, he's got brains, this boy. Well, I'm glad one of them has. He's going to go far, isn't he? Yeah, he's going to be a footballer, you know that. Yeah, of course he is. As long as you don't play for Chelsea, eh? <laughs> <laughs> ah! <laughs> you think these earrings are all right? No. What do you think, the two dangle? No, I'm joking. Come on, I want to get there before last orders. Oh. Bianca? Not now. Oh, you look good. Both do. <laughs> Yeah, it'd be nice when you're ready other half tomorrow. <laughs> you're really funny. So, uh, when will you be getting home? I'm um, not too late, don't worry, Ab. When are you going to get back? We'll get cabs. Have you got enough money? Yeah, Tiffany will pay. All right, then. Have a nice time. Yeah, we Bye. will. Bye. What? Nothing. I ain't said a word. Good, because I don't want her to spoil this evening. Anything for an easy life, eh? But all kids get to stop it at that age, Alan. Yeah, but they don't always get away with it. Right, well, I just can't afford to push it right now. Someone's going to have to teach us some manners sooner or later. Hello? Hi, David. Oh, no, I'm sorry, mate. I completely forgot. Uh, hold on, hold on now. I'll ask him out. Um, David's going over to Vic. All right for joining? No. Stephen's been playing up. I want you to stay in case he starts again. No, yeah, fair enough. No, sorry, mate. Can't do it. Oh, anyway, thanks for asking, yeah. All right. Cheers, bye. So, been a naughty boy, has he? What? Stephen. No, I'll talk to him later. Well, he made a good little chinwag, actually. Did you? Yeah. I thought you didn't like him. Nah, he's all right. He's more to win than most of the blokes around here. Thank you very much. Right, who says we go over to the fit then and get a few more in? No, I'd be dead then, eh? Got any drinks at your place? Yeah, I know, but if... Well, no, come on, then. But it's at her place, then, lads. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> you got any music, Ben? Shh. Right. The beers are in here, so help yourself, right? Marvellous. <laughs> <Office. laughs> hey. Check out. So which room's yours in? Oh. Hello, Mrs. Jackson. Got any vodka? What's going on? Nothing. Nothing. Well, I just thought I'd bring a few friends home. This is Eddie and this is... Jacko. Evening. Well, why don't you go over to the Vic they'll still be serving? I don't want to go over there. No, it'd be boring over there, wouldn't it? Well, some of us trying to get some sleep. Well, that's stopping you, Mum. Bianca, you're making enough noise to wake the dead. What? Listen. 
Alan is really tired, love. It's his first night he's had off in weeks. Shame. Mum, what is your problem? You're trying to make me look stupid or something? This is my house. What's going on? I'm not allowed to have my mates over now, then. No, not this time of night. You're well, like you never did. I bet it was a different one every night. Boy, don't you speak to your mum like that. It's all right, Alan. Right. Out. All of you. And you, go. Oh, she's my mate. You come back here. That's enough. Oh, get off me, will you? You're just as bad as her on my back all the time. Yeah, well, you learn to behave properly, all right? Well, I'll just move out of here then, won't I? I'll go. Yeah, we are too. The bed sits are closed down in case you ain't noticed. You've got no right talking to Look, me. Look, let's just you. go to bed and talk about this in the morning, shall we? I've got plenty of places to go, actually. Yeah, where? Because if you don't want me, I'm sure my real dad will. Yeah, we'll go and ask him. Please! See what he says! Get out of my face! Right, love, what can I get you? Uh, is there any bacon left? Uh, no, I'm sorry, Ben, because I had the last of it. Doesn't matter. Should have got a pillow then, shouldn't you? Not that hungry anyway. I'll tell you what, love. I'll make you a nice bowl of eggs. Uh, it's all right. I'll just, uh, have a cup of tea. Right, I'll make you a fresh pot. So, um... Have you got anything planned for today, Bianca? Well, uh, David said he might take me to some driving lesson. Oh, that's nice. I'm asking for a new stereo for my car as well. Yeah? I thought we had a stereo. Yeah, it's rubbish, that one, though. I want to get the same one as Steve's. About 200 quid play CDs as well. Oh, right. So, um, what time are you going to go? I don't know, tonight. Probably. Well, don't let David take you out into those fields again, will you? Well, it depends what David wants to do, doesn't it? Oh, that was a nice. It's the occasion. Oh, there isn't one. Just simply button up the place, mate. Hi, hi. You've been wearing that perfume again. There you go. Let's go. Oh, Kathy, uh, let's just get a cup of tea, please. Take away? No, I think I'll have it in here. I'll oh, go now, I'll bring it up. All right, Cindy. Is that a new necklace you got on, Kathy? Yeah. We got it for my birthday. Oh, that's very nice. But it looks uh, lovely on you. Oh, thanks. I'm not killed off the romance then, getting hitched. Oh, do us a favour, will you? I wonder if married a couple of months. <laughs> You're going quicker than that, believe me. It's not your fault, Carol. Well, it feels like it. I mean, her and Alan got on fine until this happened. He's working at that hotel. He's tired. Besides, his mother always kept him on a tight leash. Temper tantrums weren't allowed in our house. All right, bless him. Aye, another day, another dollar. <laughs> you look a bit tired. Not surprising, I've hardly slept all night. Well, how come? Three guesses. Bianca. Mm. Got it in one. No, but it's me and Alan that I'm worried about. Oh, well, never mind. First 30 years are the hardest. I was very glad to get out of the house today. <laughs> huh. What is it about teenagers? They just can't seem to relax, can they? Mm. Mind you. It's Carol I feel sorry for. Yeah, I must admit, I'm glad I won't have to go through that again. Huh? It was a bit of a handful then you were in. Oh, he had his moments, yeah. <laughs> Funny that. It seems such an easy going bloke now. What do you reckon, Cindy? I don't know. Right. Where do you want me to start? Oh, we are a bit low on clean cups and sauces, and I haven't seen a respectable teaspoon for half an hour either. OK. How are you twins? Sorry? They must be nearly walking by now. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they are. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? It's a lovely age. Yeah. See ya. OK. You take care now. Bye, Cindy. Hello, Sharon. Hello, Ron. Didn't yeah. see you there, mate. Hi. Oh, sorry, oh, Cindy. Sorry, I wasn't looking where I was going. Neither was I. Too busy looking over my shoulder. Oh, Let it go, I see. Remember, it's got to go on a cold wash. Don't want it to shrink, do I? Well, we'd better dry clean it then to be on the safe side, anyway. Yeah, but I need it for tomorrow. Yeah. Listen, um, you couldn't hold on here for a couple of seconds, could you? I need to get some things for tea. No, I can't. I've got to go and learn the other way home. Oh, hi, Hi. Oh, hi. thanks. Listen, how's Stephen getting on at school? Oh, fine. He's really enjoying it, yeah? That Mrs. Wilson's ever so good with the reception in class. Do you know that Billy loved it so much he didn't want to go up? Oh. Um, Cindy, you could have just a favour of keeping around this place for me, could you? 
Yeah, I spent all morning with Debbie and I forgot behind with the shuffle. All right. Hey. Carol, my mum didn't leave any, uh, any stuff here before she went away, did she? What sort of stuff? Oh, I don't know exactly. It's just a couple of shoes gone missing. I don't think so, but I'll have a look for her. Oh. If she has, they'll be here. Um, David, um, you're not going to keep Bianca up late tonight, are you? Did she say I was taking her out? Yeah, she did. Right. Oh, well, I can't be long tonight anyway. Good. Nothing there? Uh, no, I don't no? think there okay. is. All right, well, I'll be off then, Cindy. I'll be back after this. She's going off, Carol? No, Cindy doesn't run, anyway, do you? No, Cindy. Hello. Look, what we did was a mistake. I was upset with Ian. We'd had a fight, and we haven't been getting on well lately, and I just wasn't thinking straight. It didn't mean anything. And that's your story, and you're sticking to it, yeah? It's the truth. Okay. Okay, you're right. It shouldn't have happened. But it did. And there's no point in denying it. I am not denying it. I'm just saying it's something we should never have done. Yeah, but we couldn't help it, could we? Well, at least I couldn't. Look, as far as I'm concerned, it's finished. It was a one-off. Well, that's all I thought it was. I mean it. So do I. And you're going to have to stop following me around. Oh, is that what I'm doing? Look, don't play canes with me, David. If Ian ever finds out... Well, I am going to tell him, am I? Yeah, well, you better not. Why would I want to do that? I don't know. You think about it, Cindy. That's the last thing I want. Don't get me wrong. It was very nice. But you're happily married. You've got three lovely kids and a doting husband. Why would I want to spoil that all for you? That's right. So the only person who's going to let Ian know is you. What? Well. I hope you don't mind me saying so, Cindy, but you're not a very good liar. If you really don't want Ian to know, then you're going to have to start calming down a bit. Don't get so jittery when I'm around. It's a dead giveaway. Thank you. You ready for me, then? What's that, love? Oh, come on. You ain't going to blow me out again, are you? Oh, you're driving this. Yeah, we don't have to go far. We can just go around the square if you like. OK. Look, we can't be too long. All right. Then you can test me on the highway code. We can do it in the port, Caddy, and then you won't go to business, will you? Right and moan it, old git. We haven't got much to laugh about, has he? What do you mean? Well, it's not the most glamorous line of work, is it? Humping people's bags around some mm. skeezy old B&B. Too right. Me and Tiffany had a right laugh with him about it last oh, night. Careful. He got the right arm. Takes himself too seriously. Yeah, it was something else to us, though. I mean, you should have heard him last night. Well, what happened? We threw a rubble. We only wanted to bring a couple of blokes home. I mean, you wouldn't do that, would you? I don't know. Of course you wouldn't. See, that's the difference. At least you still know how to have a laugh. And you treat me like an adult. Not like some kid. Yeah. Well, I mean, we have a laugh, don't we? Come on, then. Test me on my way, code. Not now, love. Look at the time. I told your mum I wouldn't keep you out late. It's not late. I just don't want any more grief from her. I'll take the notice, Bert. Come on, test me on my stopping distances. No. I can't be angry. We can't sit out here anyway in broad day. Like, what are people going to think? I don't care what they think. I'm sorry, love, but this ain't working out, is it? What do you mean? I'm not a very good teacher. Oh, yes, you are. You're brilliant. I think we should call it a day for now. So we're going to go out again? We'll have to see. I'll make it up to you, I promise. Oh, yeah? I think about um, buying you that new stereo, yeah? Oh, I knew you would. Thanks, David. That's brilliant. Right, you two taking seats? Yeah, hey, Billy. And we wash our hands. Oh, oh, you're a good teacher. Oh, and mother's love. There's nothing like it. It's very touching, you and the kids. Very nice. Who asked you anyway? Come on, Sonia. I was listening to that. Well, so was I. Only I didn't want to. Look, I don't mind you having a radio on. Oh, thanks. Just keep it down a bit, all right? All right? You're not the only one that lives in this house, you know? Why do I bother, eh? You want me to have a word with her? Yeah, that's all right, Grant. Hey! 
Right out, Cindy. I can manage. Come on. I can do it on my own. You don't need to do it on your own, do you? I said I can manage. We look completely innocent. You've got to get a grip on yourself, Cindy. And don't tell me how to behave myself. Oh, hello, Phil. David just out with the shopping. Is he in it? Uh, yeah, I think so. Do you want it for something? No, it's just, uh, just a social call. Right. Thanks. I mean, what's wrong with listening to some music? There Thanks. you go. Hey, Jonas Bay. What? Everything in front of us, all they're waiting for is their pensions. Yeah, but my mum now has no now. Well, they may as well be, the way that they carry on. No, you're not kidding. I mean, you never see them having fun, do you? Fun? <laughs> they don't mean the word. <laughs> I know, well, we do. So what we're doing stuck in here, then? I'm fed up. We'll have to do something about that, then, won't we? Yeah, like what? Well, you need to go out. Nice idea, too, except for I'm skin. No, you're not. Yes, I am. <laughs> you're not. I am. Not when you've got family, you're not. Um, yeah, she could. I couldn't. She's my gran. Yeah, and she's also got a regular job with a regular pay packet. Just the same as your mum, Alan and David. <sighs> so, what's up with you, then? I'm bored. I suppose it'd be different if I had some money. Me and Tiffany wanted to go out tonight. I suppose I could always ask David to lend it to me. all I got. Oh, thanks. Bianca, don't go begging to David, will you? I never beg, Mum. I don't have to. Thanks, Gran. I suppose you're going to spend it on drink. Well, have a good time. What's all that about, Gran? So, I've got a five from my Gran, five from my Mum and a tenner from David. Oh, is that all you got? Well, it's a star. How much do you manage? Nothing. Oh, Tiffany, didn't you ask your dad? Yeah, I asked him. Oh, 20 quid's really gonna get us far, isn't it? I know. Tight for sticky. So it looks like it's another boring night in front of the telly. That wouldn't even gas a cab home. You give him too easily, Bianca. We can still go out. Where? Well, somewhere where someone else can pay for us. Like where? I'm sure we think of somewhere. <sighs> Bianca, can I have a word, please? What about? I don't want to get the girl into trouble. In the kitchen, please. You can't order me about. I'm not ordering you, I'm asking you. Now, can we have a talk in the kitchen, please? Blossom's a pensioner. She needs every penny she can get. Well, I'll give her the money back then. No, don't do that. Well, then she'll have nothing to complain about, will she? Well, look, she's not complaining. I am. Look, if you give her back that money, she'll be really offended. Do you want that? No. Right. All I'm asking you to do is not touch ground for any money again. Blossom offered it, didn't she, Bay? No, I'm not talking to you. I'm only saying. Well, don't. Look, just get off my case, Alan, will ya? Don't stop going on at me. enough of him. I'm not surprised. So, this is where he's working, then, the Jupiter Hotel. Yeah. <laughs> I'm really fed up, though. Looks like we'll have to go over the Vic again tonight. Your trouble is, is that you have no imagination. Well, 20 quid don't buy much imagination, does it, Tiff? I don't know about that. You leave things to Tiffany. Hello, David. Oh, hiya. Are you like me dressed there? Uh, yeah, it's, uh, very nice. Have you got a spare room, Oh, of course. Of course I do. Where are you talking to then? That would be telling me it's Tiffany's little secret. Yes, yeah, a surprise. I don't like surprises. <laughs> yes, thank you, David. I think it would be quite acceptable. Hey? I thought you'd never ask. Come on, then. Only you'll have to make it just the one. Because someone seems to believe me. Most of that one. Last one, please. Orange. Hi. Can we go now? What's the hurry? Well, it's a bit boring in here. I don't think so. But I'm having a good time out. I mean, I'm out with my lovely wife. I like showing you off. Tiff, what are we doing here? I told you, we're going to a hotel for a few drinks. You can always find a couple of blokes to pick up the tabs in these sort of places. I don't feel like this. I don't want no asshole. You won't get any. Look, all you do is you smile a little, you flirt a little, and then when you're ready, you leave. You don't have to do anything you don't want to be. Look, I'll do it all the time. It'll be enough. I Alan's hotel right here somewhere. Oh, is it? Right. Look, is this some sort of a game? No, you said you wanted a night out. I can't go in there. Why not? I just can't. You're scared, aren't you? No, I'm not. Yes, you are scared. No. Not. 
prove it then. Well, you can't. Well, no law against these, there. <laughs> Lovely uniform, Adam. Can't we just go somewhere else? Why? Where are all these fellas queuing up to buy us drinks? Keep me, son. Hello. Hello? It looks to me like you two could do a freshening up. What do you mean? Your drinks. Well, as long as that is what you mean. I'm Duncan, by the way, and uh, this is Kevin. Hi. Hi. And uh, you two are? Oh, um, I'm Fiona, and uh, this is Araminta. We call her Minty for sure. All right, then. Fiona and... Minty. What are you drinking? You <laughs> got <laughs> Excuse me, please. Yeah, you've had your fun. Now go home. I don't want to go home. All right, I'll put it another way. I want you to go home. No, I'm just having a bit of fun. Now, if you excuse me, please, I want to go to the ladies. You ain't no lady. I know what's your opinion. Look, Bianca, how do you think it makes me feel watching you like this? I don't know, and I don't really care. No, you don't care about nobody but yourself. So, do you always talk to hotel guests like this, then? I'm the ones that know the time. Well, you should mind your manners, then. Look, get out. I don't need this. Look. I want you to leave before you make me even more ashamed of you. I ain't going nowhere. That's right, we were having a good time, weren't we, Bay? You can keep that as a sonata. Don't talk to my mate like that. I don't really think I want to go to the toilet after all. Let go of me. I want you out. Trouble, Alan. Oh, uh, no, sir, nothing I can't handle. Uh, these two are just leaving us now. Well, they're not guests. Nah, just a couple of uh, cheap tarts. Want some more tea? No, it's bed, love. Mm, it's a hard night with it. Why? Where are you asking? No reason. You've seen yourself in a mirror, boy. I bet it is, yeah. Okay, well, you and Bianca both. I know she came home last night saying she didn't know what time with Tiffany. What happened? I don't know, she didn't say. So, what about you? What's spoiled your evening? <laughs> Hello, love. Hi. I'm toast. I'm going to bed. You yeah, well, haven't made your tea yet. I don't want it. Hmm. Something wrong with you. I'll be right after a good kit. Maybe he had a row with someone. He's just tired. Tea, Bianca? Yeah. Should have slapped him around the face. He was so out of order. I'll give it a rest, Tea. No one gets away with calling me a tart, Bianca. Oh, stop going on, will you? None of this would have happened if you hadn't taken me to Ellen's hotel. Oh, right, so suddenly it's all my fault. Well, you knew it wasn't like it. He still didn't have to say the things he said. We was winding him up. We were having a drink. Well, I wish I'd have stayed in the Vic now. Yeah, well, then you wouldn't have found out, would you? I found out what? What he really thinks of you. He thinks that you're a tart. I did you a favour by taking you there last night. My dad would never have spoken to me like that. Oh, no? Well, he ain't me dad, is he? Yeah, well, did say like he wanted to be either. Ian, there is nothing wrong with this car. Cindy, it's for all the pieces. No, it isn't. Look, if Steve can afford a Merc, we can afford something better than this. Yeah, but all those cars are way out of our reach. Come on, they were, weren't they? Yeah, but I mean, there are other places. Yeah, but we don't need a new car. Come on, cheer up, we haven't lost anything. Yeah, well, we haven't gained anything either. To do for a while. See, I don't want something better to do. I want something we can be proud of. Maybe if I look at those figures again. No, Ian. Look, if we're going to get deep in debt, I'd, I'd rather it be for a house, not a car. Look, come on, I'll go and make some lunch. Well, it's always David. David? Yeah. What do you think about it, right? What does he sell, eh? Second hand cars. What do we want? Second hand car. Well, Ian, those cars were a load of old rubbish. Where do you know? Because everyone knows that. They were saying when Frank was there. Oh, but it's changed since then. I mean, you must have noticed. Do look like a load of old rubbish to me. Oh, look, it won't do any harm to go have a look, will it? What now? Yeah, you coming? What? No, I don't think so. Well, I think you're better. Well, why? Well, because otherwise I'll choose the wrong colour, won't I? Well, I've got to go in and make the lunch. Oh, come on, you can leave lunch. Come on, let's go have a look. Come on. Amy! Hello! How's your patter? Come on with you, mate. I'm in the market for a new motor. Ah, well, in that case, you've, uh, you've come to the right place. Yeah. This one's new in. Oh, well, Cindy? Do you want to take a closer look? Right, come in, sit yourself down. Cheers. Um, I might be interested in that, uh, that Orion that's out there. But you prefer to see some others as well? Well, yeah. No problem. Let me just bring a few contacts and we'll give you a bit of choice. I want you to be happy, in. It's in my interest to look after you. 
Yeah, she's my family. I like it. Uh, excuse me, please. What are you doing here? I need to talk to you. What about? Just things. Well, well I'm a bit busy at the minute, love. I... Well, I'll come back in ten minutes, then. Sorry, can't guarantee I'll be free then, either. Are you too busy for me now, then? Well, I've got a living to earn, Bianca. What about tonight? Um. All right, we'll have a drink in the bit, yeah? Well, it's a bit private, David. Can I come in? I don't know. Well, there's no problem, is there? I've been here before. Yeah, I suppose so. Look, you get some fish and chips for me and Zay. We'll have a bit of dinner together. Be nice to you and me. You off, Cindy? Yeah, I've got things to do. Well, what time, then? David, what time? Um, I'll pass six, do you? All right? Yeah, all right, you get the fish and chips then, yeah? Yeah, OK. All right, I'll see you then. <coughs> you right? Yeah, I've just popped in to tell you I won't be home for tea tonight. Oh, you're going out again? Yeah, well, you've got a problem with it. No, you just didn't seem to have a nice time with Tiffany last night. I'm not going out with Tiffany, am I? So, where are you going then? I've been invited out to dinner. Oh, David? Yeah, as it happens. Right. She's trying not to worry. I tell myself that a thousand times a day. Yeah. Doesn't stop you, though, does it? I've been there. Oh, yeah, Mark. And Michelle. And I dare say I'll go through it all again with Martin when the time comes. It's never ending with Bianca. I mean, I used to complain enough about it before all this business with David Wicks. Oh, I don't know. I just didn't know I was born, did I? You know what? I wouldn't give now for some straightforward adolescent bad behaviour. It must have been a terrible shock for her. Yeah, I know, and I'm making allowances. Oh, it just would be so bad if, oh, I don't know, if her dad was anybody else but David Wicks. I'll try not to be too downhearted. It could be worse. What? You reckon? Yeah, well, remember what she was like when she was in the bed sit? She wouldn't even talk to you. No, you're right. At least now she's living at home with you and Alan. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Sean, will you go? Yes, mate. Sorry. So, you and Ricky not cooking tonight, then? What? Cotton chips for two. Oh, you know how it is. Yeah. Here, um, you ought to come around to ours one night. Just you, I mean, you know, for supper or something. What, your house? Yeah. No, I was thinking about what you said earlier on. You know, about uh, us being family and that. Yeah, that would be very nice. Yeah, well, let's get something sorted. Yeah, all right, then. I'll have a chat with Cindy. I'll let you know. OK, great. Thanks. Bye. What's so funny? Nothing. Well, what are you smiling for? Just up here, that's all. Good. Eat up, I'm going to have that drink. We ain't had a talk here. No, it's just the fish and chips gives me a bit of a thirst. Come on, eat, before it gets cold. Yes, Dad. Listen, love, I've been thinking about your driving lessons. Yeah, I'm doing all right, aren't I? Yeah, you're doing, uh, you're doing very well, but I think you could be doing better. I'm trying my best. It's not you who's the problem. It's me. What? Well, relatives always make the worst teachers. You're a brilliant teacher. I mean, if we're going to get you through your test first time, you're going to have to have some proper lessons. Driving lessons are too expensive. That's for me to worry about. I've been putting out some feelers, and uh, I want to get you the best. Thanks. Don't want you picking up any of my bad habits, do we? Right, let's go and have that drink, and I'll get you home. Is there something wrong? I ate it there. If I had the money, I'd move out tomorrow. Listen, love, I'm a bit short of cash this month. I'm sorry. Don't worry, I ain't come over for an hour down. But what's the problem, then? It's Alan. He don't care about me. He never has. Oh. And it wouldn't have been Mum. We just all came along as part of the deal. I don't even think he likes me. You should hear the way he talks to me. Why, has he said something? Yeah. What? He called me a tart. What? Well, that's not all. It was in public in front of everyone. What was he said that for? I don't know. Well, you wouldn't talk to me like that, would you? No way, love. Well, you loved me, didn't you? Do you know I love you? Can I ask you something, then? Yeah, anything you like. Anything? Yeah, go on. Can I come and live with you? <sighs> don't want me. No. Well, what, then? Look, think about it, Bianca. Think about what people would say. I don't care what they say. It'd be a scandal. So? Well, do you really want people gossiping about you and me and your mum? I don't see what difference it makes. I thought you wanted people to know. I'm thinking about you, love. Do you want people pointing at you in the street? 
Because it won't last long. And then there's Ricky. I mean, how are you going to feel bumping into him every morning over your cornflakes? I've done that before. Exactly. I mean, do you want him to get ideas about you again? And what happens when my mum comes back? It couldn't work. I think it could. It couldn't. Only because you don't want it to. No, Bianca, the answer is no. Oh, I'll get it then. You don't want me to come live with you, and you don't even want to teach me to drive anymore. We've been through all that. I think you'll get on better with an instructor. Come on, let's go and have a drink. So we've done something to have sit here. No. What have I done? Nothing. Have I said something? No. No, I don't want a new instructor. But we agreed. I want you. It'll be for the best. I don't think so. Look, love, I'm very busy at the moment. I've got a lot on my mind. I've got my books to do, the VAT certificates, so that's MOTs. It, then, is it? It's not that you want me to I'm up to my eyes and table work, like, I'm sorry. Anymore. You don't mean anywhere near you. I can't stand this. <laughs> Bianca, please don't cry. I'm only thinking of you, love. You'll get on much better with someone who knows what they're doing. It's for the best, Bianca. Do you understand? Yeah. Understand. I know you would. I understand that you're bored of being my dad. Oh. Had a laugh. Got back at me, Mum, and now you want out? It's because I'm busy. That's just an excuse. It's the truth. The truth is, you don't love me. I do. You don't care about me. I do. You don't want me. My mum was right about you all along. Bianca, will you listen to me? Why should I? You just give me a pack of lies. I have never lied to you, ever. You don't care about me. You don't want me. You don't even like me. Well, thanks for nothing, Dad. Look, my dishes in that sink. I wasn't even in last night. I was there all day yesterday. It's disgusting. And the day before, and I didn't leave them well, there. Neither did I. Well, someone did. I ain't gonna wash them up. Bianca. Hi. Uh, listen, I need to explain about last night. There's nothing to explain. You mustn't think I don't love you. No, no, you're just too busy. I am busy. You know, if I had the time, I... No, just save your breath, David. I don't want to hear what you've got to say. I do want to be a dentist. No, you don't. I do. You don't. It's just, just the same as everyone else. Now, just leave me alone. Hello? Yeah. Yeah, I might be interested in it. I know it's a bit more than you wanted to paint. Yeah, David, it's, um, it's the colour. Oh. Well, what colour do you want? Well, it's not me. It's, uh, it's the missus. You know what these women are like. What do you want? Silver. Silver? Yeah. Oh. No problem. Well, uh, give us to an Andy, all right? All right, yeah, fine. Yeah, I'll tell you what. Why don't you come round on Monday night, have a bit of supper, and we can talk about it then. Monday? Yeah. Or oh, Tuesday, if it suits you better. No, no, Monday's, uh, Monday's fine. Good. Is it all right, Miss Cindy? Mm, yeah, I'm nasty, yeah, but it shouldn't be a problem, should it? Listen, uh, leave it with me, mate. Um, I'll try and have something for you early by then, and I'll see what sort of finance package I can put together for you. Yeah, yeah, all right, I'll, I'll see you then. See ya. I mean, it's a joke, really. First, I never had a dad at all. Now I've got two that don't want anything to do with me. I don't think you're great. Well, he's got a funny way of showing it. I mean, me and Tiffany only went for a drink at the place he works the other night. He's wound up calling me a tar. Don't sound like Alan. Yeah, and in front of the manager as well. I told you he didn't care about me. So it was just a one drink, was it, at the hotel? Ah, oh, one or two. Well, we had a few. Well, just you and Tiffany? Ah, oh, there were some blokes there as well. I mean, they was eyeing us up and that, but so what? We weren't doing anything wrong. <laughs> Tiffany's a little scrubber. She's my mate. Whose idea was it to go to the hotel? Well, it was, but we thought it'd be a laugh. I don't know why you bother with her. I like her. She ain't the one who called me a tart, is she? What do you expect? You turn up at his hotel, have one too many drinks. I'm not surprised he was angry with you. There's no need to call me that, though, is there? He probably didn't realise what he was saying. I knew you'd stick up for him. Oh, I'm just trying to think how he felt, you know, to see someone you love behaving like that. Don't love me. He wouldn't lose his rag if he didn't. And how'd you make that out then? Well, you know, that used to go mad over me over one thing or another. Only because he cared about me. Alan don't care about me. We know he does. David don't. I thought we were talking about Alan. I mean, David don't even want to give me driving lessons anymore. Probably got bored. I mean, what's wrong with me, anyway? Nothing's wrong with you. No one loves me. I did. Look, I can't speak for David, but I'm sure you can depend on Alan. You've just got to be nicer to him. I'm nice to him. Yeah. So why don't you give it a go?
I made some tea. I thought you might want to come. Oh, look, Kay, you will tell uh, Debbie Wicks about Monday night being off, won't you? No, it's not. Well, you agreed. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. You said you understood that I didn't have time to do the cooking. Oh, all right, look, I'll, I'll sort something out. I'll, I'll bring home some fish and chips or something. Oh, I can't do that. Yeah, OK. I'll do a side salad with it. It'll be fine. <sighs> look, it's the thought that counts. Oh, yeah? Where's the thought in fish and chips? Look, I'll enjoy it. It'll be, it'll be a family atmosphere. Anyway, I want to do some business with him. All right, I'll do the cooking. I thought you said you didn't have time. I'll make time. Well, if you're sure. Ian, I'm not having someone come round my house and eat fish and chips. Oh, thanks, love. <laughs> I'm sure David will appreciate it. Finish for your mug. It's head. Yes, finished. Right. I'll uh, wash it up for you then. Do you want some more tea? It's your game, Bianca. I ain't got no game. You're up to something. No, I ain't. It's also with your sudden dutiful daughter performance. I just don't feel like I've been putting my weight around the house recently. Oh, you noticed? And maybe I feel a bit ashamed of myself. Me and Tiffany were out for all day the other night. <laughs> just a little, yeah. I thought you'd tell me, Mum. Well, what good would that have done, eh? Thanks. I was thinking of her, not you. I mean, she's got enough on her plate without you adding to it. Thanks, anyway. I mean, what do you think of playing that coming in dressed like that? And behaving like that with them blokes? It won't happen again. Oh. And I'm supposed to be grateful. <laughs> Why are you always so angry with me, Alan? I can't do nothing right. Be angry. You treat this house like a DOS house. We never know where you are and when you're coming back. Your mum's out of her mind with worry. And then when you're here, you never speak to no one except to complain. You never lift a finger to help anybody. And if we so much as ask you to answer the door, well, you just look at us as if we're made of dirt. I took the kids to school this morning. You did that for the money. Yeah, because things are difficult at the moment. Look, they're difficult for everyone. But we all try and pull our weight. I mean, even Billy does more around the house than you. All right, I've said I'm sorry. You ain't got to rub me nose in it. Yeah, go on. Chew off to David Wicks. Go on. Tell him how nobody at home understands you. You're jealous. What of? David, this is what all this is about, isn't it? Look, don't be stupid. Don't call me stupid. Look, you're never here, and I don't like it. I've been your father for all these years, and all of a sudden, he steps in the picture, and you don't want to know me. Just stepped in. No? You can't wait to rush out of here and be with him. Not no more. I've been dumped. It's like I'm a toy he's fed up playing with. And maybe he is busy. I don't think so. Bored more like. I mean, I thought he loved me. I really did. I don't even want me around him anymore. I, uh... It's got to be hard for him, too. What? Well, you just can't become a dad overnight. You did? No. I had all them mumps, you know, when me and your mum were going out. What are you sticking up for him for? Look, I'm just saying, that's all. It takes time to get used to the idea of putting kids first. And that's what like loving someone is, putting them first. You're just making excuses for him. Look, I'm trying to think how he must feel. He had a fling with your mum when he was just a lad. And all of a sudden, he finds out he's got a grown-up daughter who wants him to be a proper dad. But he's missed out on all them years in between. It's got to be difficult for him, Boo. I thought you hated him. Not hate. No, I don't like him very much. But what difference does it make? I mean, he's still your dad. And you can't ignore that. You're a nice man, Alan. No, I weren't too nice the other night, was I? You and me, Mum, you really do put us first. Well, that's part of the deal. It's called being a parent. And I do love you, really. Thanks, Bea. I love you, too. Hey, um, what are you thinking of cooking for David tonight? Um, not sure. Yeah, we'll do something nice, eh? What, oh. like fish and chips? 
Remember he's getting us a car? Ian, car or no car, I'm gonna cook a really nice meal, all right? Well, would you rather I did the cooking? No, thank you. I'm quite capable of doing it myself. OK, OK. I'm really looking forward to having David around tonight. It's not often we entertain, is it? Chuck it. You see? It's just some stuff for my mum, that's all. Let's put all this on, then. Last time I spoke to you, you said you wanted to leave home. Yeah, well, I just want to help her out, don't I? OK, then, what you done? Well, you must have really wound her up this time to be shopping at the crack door. Like I said, I just want to help her out. Coming in or what? Well, oh, maybe not. Oh, come on. No, not if he's going to be there. No one calls me names like that and gets away with it. It's ancient history now, though, isn't it? No, not to me, it's not. All right. Yeah, well, still I saw you. Well? What? I'm waiting for an apology. Down your breath. She's up to something, I swear she is. You know something? You've got an horrible, suspicious mind sometimes. Yeah, well, maybe I've got reason to. So you coming in then? Is that me, eh? No, thanks. I'll see you later when you've grown up a bit, babe. Oh, that's a good idea. Not too complicated. Is that what you think of the cooking tonight? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, why not? Oh, I'll tell you what goes nice with that. Lemon sorbet. Yeah, that'd be good. Yeah, I'll pick one up later. What are you working? No, I told Jason I'm going later. I'm going to go check this house out first. <laughs> the way the old man's up. <laughs> oh, I like that. Only one question. What? What's poor David going to eat? <laughs> ah, is that for me, is it? Yeah, some of it. Oh, I'm allowed to cook, by the way. Just maybe you'll tweet something before you come round. Ian's the chef. Ah, okay. oh, sure. I'm not fussy. Anything you don't like? No, no. I think I like everything. Listen, it's not too late to change your mind, you know. I mean, you could say you were ill or something. Why would I want to do that? We're both fat out, aren't we? Is she busy then? Hi. I'll see you later then. Okay. So we're then to get out better than driving lessons then? Yes, I have as it goes. Uh, day after tomorrow, do you? Yeah, fine. Oh, fine. Mm. Needs a bit more seasoning. And this lemon sorbet would be best if you let it defrost a bit before serving, but not too much, mind. Yeah, what do you intend doing with these courgettes? I beg your pardon? Well, you know you should cover them in salt first, right? Let them sweat for a bit. Right, that's it. Salt. You can do it. Oh, come on, love. Don't be like that. No, no, Ian. You're the expert. You do it. Well, I don't know why you're doing it so early anyway. Because I've got loads of other things to do. That's why. I've got to pick up Steve and get him and the twins dinner, get this place tidied up, have a bath, get yeah, dressed. Yeah, all right, all right, all right. Point taken. Anyway, this meal was your idea. You can do it. Come in, come in, come in. You're packing on time, unfortunately. We're running a little bit late. That's all right, don't worry. Yes, I'm well for you, though. Oh, thanks. Evening. Hi. Keep it nice. Oh, do I? Yeah, yeah, that dress really suits you. Oh, thanks. Ian bought it from ages ago. Yeah. Mm. Uh, can I get you a drink? Um, food won't be too long. Mm. Drop of that being a fine thing. Yeah, sure. It smells lovely, whatever it is. Oh, I've just been working like a Trojan all day. Listen, you shouldn't have gone to so much trouble. I didn't. <laughs> She'd just like you to think we eat like this every day. That's right. Anyway, the meal's a joint effort. He did a lot of it. Oh, I see. So you got him to do all the work, did you? No. He enjoys it, doesn't he, Ian? Yep. Well, you know what they say. Once a chef, always a chef. There you go, David. Cheers. That's lovely. There you have. Cheers. 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 Trust me, I'll get you the sweetest deal you've ever heard of. Best park exchange anywhere. Hmm? Oh, I'll drink to that. Oh, we're no more drink. I must have something stupid. Well, we don't mind if you say something stupid, do we, David? No, no, of course we don't. Mind you, it would be better if she didn't. Oh, don't worry. She don't get nasty when she's drunk or anything. In fact, between you and me, it's quite the reverse. <laughs> oh. Lucky old you, then. No, Ian. You're like death formed up in the morning if you drink anymore. Oh, I don't care. You see him when he's got hangover. He whinges, he yells at me, can't stop going to the toilet to throw up. <laughs> she loves me, really. <laughs> Of course I do. Wouldn't change you for the world. Would I, my sweet? Ian! <laughs> oh. I don't get it. I haven't got to be up early, have I? Oh, lucky you. Here I come. Got important things to do. Yeah. How much do you know about Phil Mitchell? Phil? I thought you'd know more about him than I do. I mean, he's your stepfather. <laughs> Not by choice. What about him, anyway? Well, I think I've got something on him. Yeah? Mm. And if I'm right, I'm gonna nail him. I'd leave well alone if I was you, mate. Doesn't scare me. Well, he ought to. Why? Because I know for a fact that sometimes he can be a bit... 
Oh, a bit, a bit what? No, no, sorry, I shouldn't say any more. I should have mentioned it. It's this stuff. You gotta watch it. Make sure you're discreet if you're not careful. Oh. Oh. It's all right, I'll go. It's all right, darling. Daddy's coming. Did you enjoy that? Yeah, I did as it goes. Very much. <coughs> I was just saying to uh, Cindy how much I enjoyed the meal, Ian. Yeah? Yeah, it was lovely. Thank you very much. Oh, I wish you pretty good when she makes the effort, isn't you? She certainly is. Coffee? Yeah, please, mm. Tom. Um, you know what you were saying just now? Uh, about Phil. Don't get involved, mate. Honestly, take my advice. Don't get into things you can't handle. Never a good idea. And again, what do I know? Can't always be sensible, can you? It's Cindy. Oh, hello, Arthur. Hello there. Would you like to fill in one of these for me? It's to find out what local people's feelings are about the area. Well, I've got to do it right now. Well, oh, David, have you got a minute, please? Would you like to fill in one of these for me? It's a questionnaire about Walford. All right, Cindy. Hello, David. It's to find out what local people's feelings are about the area. Sure, are you sure that's a good idea? Give me another one of those, please. Brian. There you go. Thank you. Right. So how about them driving lessons then? Yeah, they're all fixed up. Mm-hmm. That's what I said. So what's it like then, this instructor? Don't know. They're all much of a muchness though, aren't they? Well, how long am I? Mine was a seedy old geezer with a nervous twitch like from sitting beside two learners all his life. Terrific. <laughs> 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 Hello, I'd watch her if I were you. Mind you, they make a lovely couple. Did you want something? Oh, uh, yeah, another one, please. No, 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 well, they can't all be happily married men, can we? Sure. I'll get in to invite one of her mates around, know what I mean? David, I know how it is. It's not always easy to meet people when you're working hard. I don't know. Sometimes it's avoidant and it's a problem. Look, um, I don't want to get personal with you, but don't you get a bit lonely? Well, who doesn't? Mm. Well, look, obviously I'd like everybody to be as happy as me. I mean, look at me and Cindy, right? Well, I know we've had our problems, as you know. I mean, we've worked through things, we've made the effort, and now I can quite honestly say that my marriage is the best thing about my life. Well, maybe you can tell me how I can share a bit of this happiness of yours, then. Never give up, never get bitter. And who knows? One day you'll meet the girl of your dreams and you'll fall head over heels in love. Hi. Well, here I am, then. Where is I? He's not here, love. It's all right. Shouldn't you be working? No. I took the afternoon off. Not that it's any of your business. Oh, what's up with Daddy, then? Mm -hmm. Listen, uh, are you doing anything like What, you asked me out on a date? No, I just thought you might fancy a quick drink or something in a bit. Yes, sir, I feel. Oh, this is the sleazy old geezer, is it? All right, I'm the anchor. Hi, I'm John. Can you me to drive, then? Well, that's the idea. Why don't you uh, hop in and uh, we'll see what you can do. I'm not very good at this, so I think I'll need loads of lessons. <laughs> I'm sure you're a lot better than you think. David? Okay. What do you do? Seatbelt, mirror, signal, manoeuvre. There you go. Right. All right. How was the driving? Yeah, it was good. He had me doing things I've never tried before. A bit flash looking, wasn't it? I thought he was quite good looking. Yeah, well, I feel like that sort of thing. What sort of thing? Well, you know, the arm's so good looking, and I know it's so conceited. I didn't think he was conceited. He was quite shy, actually. Oh, that one. What? The little boy lost that. <sighs> shy. And how would you know? Do you want a drink? Yeah, a glass of wine, please. Oh, go and sit down. I'll bring it over. Hi, David. How's everything? Oh, yeah, fine. Thanks. It's Cindy. Over here. Um... Gotta go. Yeah, sure. 
So you made it then? Yeah. Well, what are you drinking? Uh, a glass of hot wine, please. Right. So where did it go then? Yeah. Was that okay, that bloke? Yeah, it was. Good teacher, like. Yeah. What better than me? Yeah, but well, that was the idea, wasn't it? That he'd done a better job than you. That's what you said, didn't you? No, you're right. That's exactly what I said. Good. You're not going, are you? Yeah, why? Don't you want to have a drink? My mum be wondering where I got to. It never used to bother you. Yeah, well, it does now. Yeah, did you uh, get your next lesson fixed up? Yeah, of course I did. Kill her. Mm. You're not going, are you? Yeah, why? I haven't had a chance to talk to you. Well, who's thought that? Cindy, you ready? Yeah, ready. I can stay in all night. I think I'd like to go home. Cindy worries about me if I don't get back in time. Good. Then the sooner we get this sorted out, the better. Sort what out? It'll come to you. Sorry, we're closed. Oh, it's not shut. Is yeah. It? to run a chip shop down by the docks. Every Friday night, right, she used to get all the nutters in and giving it chinky this and chinky that. She put up with that for years. She never lost the temper, not once. Then finally, one Friday night, the gaff's packed and this geezer comes in and starts taking a mick. One chip made curry sauce. And one of them, she flips. It takes a dirty great leg of boiling up fat and bosh, straight in his boat. But, um, what was her first offence? She says that he provoked her and uh, she only ends up with probation. Carries on working at the same chip, but you know, she never got one bit of aggravation after that. Who says violence never solves anything, eh? God. Do you know, I ain't had any of this since I was about 14. Here, listen to me. I'm having a right old trip down memory lane, aren't I? Talk to the witch. How's yours? My oh, what? Your memory. Oh, dear. That stuff's disgusting. It's funny, isn't it? I used to love that when I was a kid. You know, me and Grant, we used to go round the back of the offie, nick the empties, go back round the front again and get the deposit back on them. <laughs> And sorry, yeah, uh, sorry to bring you so late. I saw your lights were on. Um, is he in there by any chance? No, he's still at work. Yeah, well, if you go in the chipper, you'll probably catch him. Can't do that, I'm afraid. I've uh, just got out of the bath. I'm in my gym jams. Um, it's just that I've had a mate on the phone tonight. He's uh, he's got a Volvo he can let me have. It's like the one you're after, but uh, it's uh, it's in metallic grey. I mean, it's almost silver in it. I just thought Ian would be interested. Well, uh, you'll have to talk to him about that. Yeah, I know. Just, can you just pass the message on for us? Mummy, can I have some water? C look, Dad, can you hold on a minute? Stephen just wants a gla glass of water. I, I want a minute, all right? Have I upset me mum or something? No, Ian. That's the one thing in your favour, is leaving Kathy out of it. 
Come on. You feel better once you get it off your chest. Sir. Is this, is this about the bed seats? Ah! Now we get in there. But there was one thing else, wasn't there? I, I, I just thought Ricky had a right to know that. That's all. Sorry, Mike. Well, I, I, wrote, I wrote him a little letter. And did you sign it? He's a good pal of yours, is he, Ricky? You got his best interests at all, have you? Or are you just trying to stir it up for me because I'm the geezer's taking your precious mummy away, eh? You've got an habit of glassing people, haven't you? Ain't you? Steve, the council, yeah? You scared I'm gonna hurt you? No one would hurt my steps on here, mate. Oh, and if you're thinking about that time at Cap's birthday, well, I regret that. Which isn't to say you didn't have it coming. Because you did. But your cafe's is sunny and your family. And families help each other out. They stick together. They don't go around stirring out for each other. You got a personal hygiene problem, mate. Eh? You're sweating. Now you're gonna behave like a grown-up Ian. Can you behave like a grown-up? Hi, sorry about that. Well? Well what? Well, you asked me to hang on. Is there something you want to say? Uh, no. I don't think so. Um, how are you? I'm all right. Yourself? Much the same. Listen, should we be talking like this? Is it sensible? <laughs> you phone me. No, I'll find your husband, actually. You're up late anyway, what with all those kids of yours. I was just getting ready to go to bed, actually. Oh, really? You're wearing your nighty. Don't, David. Oh, I've already told you I'm in my gym jams. Come on, face fair. Oh, don't play games. Who's playing games? I just want us to be friends, that's all. Look, come on, we're grown up, so we what's done is done. And to be truthful, I can't imagine it ever being as good again as it was the first time with you. So we've quit while we're ahead. I think we should give ourselves a little pat on the back, don't you? Look, I don't want to have this conversation, right? Well, because... Because I don't. Uh, listen, I've got to go. Ricky's coming downstairs. Look, um... Just pass the message on, all right? Sorry, I've got to go. Ta -da. Well, I think tonight's been very useful, didn't you? I think we've sorted out one or two little misunderstandings. Yeah, live a little live, eh? Good man, Ian. The fact is, I think you've done me a favour. I think you've, you've taught me a lesson. Not to mess about on my own patch. <laughs> but then you already know that, don't you? You know, your little loan shark can scare me. But your fingers burnt there, didn't you? So, uh, are you calling a truce? You know I'll always hate you, don't you? That's a strong word. Yeah, well, you hate me, don't you? You ain't important enough to hate Ian. The fact is, if you weren't Calf's son, you just be the bloke that ran the chip shop. I don't suppose your fans are going out for another drink, do you? See, the thing is, I've got a driving lesson tonight. I didn't really want to drink and drive. I don't really think my instructor would approve. I'm not upsetting, you know. Well, you know. I just want to be friends, that's all. So you don't mind me reversing around the corner room, then? Tell you what, we'll go out tomorrow lunchtime for a drink. Yeah, you know, it would be nice to have a proper chat. All right, then. Tomorrow right. lunchtime, yeah? All right, then. See you later. Ian. You never got back to me. What about? My message last night. What message? I phoned late last night. You were out. I suppose it's ended. You should have said anything. Well, it's too late now, anyway. Well, what was it about? Well, I could have got you a Volvo in metallic grey. But it's gone now. Oh, well, I thought you was holding out for the silver. 
Never mind. I've got a bounty for you. Oh, yeah? You never passed on my message. I forgot. You know, I couldn't stop thinking about you last night. So my cup of cocoa up to bed. David, stop it. Don't you want to know what I was thinking? I don't think so. I bet you do. And don't phone me like that again, all right? You know very well I was phoning your old man. Still, it was, uh, it was nice to have a little chat. I think we should keep out of each other's way. Don't you? For a while. That could be difficult. But if it's what you want. Yeah, it's what I want. I ran into David earlier. I think you got a confession to make. What's this about a Volvo in grey metallic? He phoned you last night, apparently. Oh, yeah, I forgot. How can you forget a thing like that? What's he eating you? Cindy, in future, when you get a message for me, write it down. 